What's going on YouTube? Robbie again, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Age of Extinction Dinobot Scorn, or I guess just Scorn in this case. It doesn't have the uh, Dinobot prefix there, but he's still a Dinobot, and uh, he looks really cool. He is a, uh, I believe he's a Spinosaurus Egypticus, um, but he's a little bit on the small side, uh, you know, because the Spinosaurus was actually, you know, a little bit bigger than a Tyrannosaurus, but blah, 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 blah. it's a Transformer, and if you expect scale to happen, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, really nice looking. I love the red uh, with the little orange pattern in the back here. That's really, really nice. Um, it's reminding me a lot of the uh, bio, uh, bio volcano. Uh, from Zoid's Genesis, and it's, uh, I'm a big fan of that uh, as well. But uh, anyway, you can see a really nice, mean-looking face uh, here up in the top. Uh, and it just kind of shows you uh, up here that these Dinobots are not, in fact, going to be super colorful, um, you know, l like the toys are. They're all going to be the same kind of gray, <laughs> uh, silver color that... Uh, all of the uh, Bay Transformers tend to be. Uh, but he looks really cool in robot mode. It says tail becomes spear. Uh, yeah. And uh, Spinosaurus mode. Very cool. Uh, and it says Scorn has the jaws of a dino and the personality of a tank. He's a rumbling, thundering warhammer on legs. Uh, so really, really nice. Um, and you know what? Honestly, I like that they're kind of mixing it up with the dinosaurs uh, here. Uh, rather than just having, you know, the main five, whatever. Uh, and I think all five of them are, are still at least have designs for the film. I've seen designs for all five of the original uh, Generation 1 Dinobots, uh, as well as these new guys that, that are coming in. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead, open this guy up, and we will check him out uh, in just a second. Okay, guys, so here is Scorn the Spinosaurus, and uh, he is pretty darn neat. Um, so as you can see, of course, uh, I talked a little bit about the, the nice red. He's got a very, very kind of uh, shiny metallic red paint, or not paint, plastic going on here. Uh, shiny red metallic paint on the tail um, back here, though. And just really, really nice looking all the way around. I love the way the orange uh, looks on the detailing here. And, of course, on the side here you can see the Autobot symbol. Uh, so the Dinobots are affiliated with the Autobots in this uh, case, at least as far as the toys are concerned. Um, we'll have to see come uh, movie time. But anyway, a uh, very poseable uh, little Spinosaurus as well. Uh, the tail is kind of rubbery, so you can kind of waggle that a little bit if you want to. Um, the spine is also rubbery, uh, but he's got a lot of uh, a lot of posability in the head here. Um, so you've got you can, if you desire, kind of move this uh, chest piece down a little bit in order to lower the head if you so desire, and then you can of course raise raise the head itself. It's got this little weird neck plate. Uh, it's supposed to be kind of like the throat. Um, it tends to, it only sits really in one position and otherwise it kind of looks sort of odd, but it's really not bad. You can, you can certainly get used to it and you can always just flip it up under the mouth um, if you want to get some good side poses here or, you know, down or up. So he, he's got a lot of movement going on in the head, especially. And you can open the mouth, of course. Mouth opens up. He's got a little tongue in there. Really, really cool. Chomp. Um, so very, very nicely done there. Um, so yeah, really cool looking. He's got little ball-jointed arms here for the forearms. And the legs, legs are a little bit more... Uh, well, no, actually the legs are good. Uh, they're ball jointed here at the hip, and you can see this little flap comes up to kind of meld it to the rest of the body. Um, and of course he does have the double jointed knee to get those, uh, those, uh, digigrade knees, legs going on there. Um, so very, very nicely done, very nicely posable, and really, really cool all the way around. Um... So yeah, very nice. Uh, he also has a sword back here that you can just pop in and out of the tail. Um, it doesn't really plug in so much as just kind of sits in there um, because, you know, just held in by the rubber. Uh, so it can fall out. I mean, over time it may 
fall out if the rubber gets warped or anything, but um, yeah. Uh, this guy does not lock together all that super well, so, and the back legs tend to just kind of float a little bit, so, you know, be, be warned of that, but uh, other than that, very, very cool. Um, and to transform this guy, pretty simple stuff. Uh, you just want to kind of split the legs a little bit and pull down these little flaps here. They have teeth on them for some reason. I'm not, not certain what that's about. Uh, then this just comes kind of forward, and this little flap comes down here. And then you want to pull this flap down as well. And then this whole, uh, you want to unpeg the, these bits here and just kind of turn them back like so. And then this whole section just turns and you can see it raises the head up here. We'll get to that in just a moment. You want to plug these back here on the robot back, which is very nice, very nice touch. Um, this just kind of gets out of the way for the moment. Uh, then you want to come around, extend the legs down, extend the legs down. Uh, this piece is going to come back and kind of lock that all in together. Um, I don't know if it's just on mine, but this does not does not stay locked down. You can see uh, it doesn't stay locked in, but it, it holds just fine. It's not this thing is not uh, doesn't have any problems because of that that I am yet aware of. So you got the legs going. Uh, you want to take the middle dinosaur claw and just bring it out and forward. And that's going to become the robot toe. And then you just want to flare out the uh, calves there just to kind of thicken the legs. And uh, that's going to be your your robot legs right, right, right like that. Uh, so bring this arm down. And that's pretty much going to do it for that. Oh, the, uh, <laughs> the sword can come out now as well. And then you bring this... Uh, arm down, or the dinosaur head, I should say. Uh, you want to bring this little flap forward under there, um, pull out the robot hand, and then you just want to flip this around, and that's going to become the other arm. And then, last thing you do is just pull the robot head up, and there you have Scorn in robot mode. And uh, he's really, really nice looking. I have to say, I I'm quite impressed. You can take the uh, Take the little sword and just stick it in his hand here. Um, if I had any beefs with this figure, it would be, well, yes, his his left arm is just a tail. Uh, it's stuck in there. There's no hand hidden. Uh, that's that's what you got. He's got the he's got the uh, Beast Wars Megatron syndrome here. And then this arm is, of course, the dinosaur head, which can look a bit silly. Um, you can, if you wanted to, kind of. I don't know. Open the dinosaur mouth. If I can get that to work. Um, for just to, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even sure why you would. Uh, it does thin out the forearm a little bit, make it not so thick. Um, but actually, that I think looks pretty good too. Um, so yeah, very very cool looking. He does have an elbow joint still, um, and he can move his arm in and out. Uh, which is very nice. Uh, he's got a bicep swivel. His arms go up and down. Uh, he does have in, you know, in and out motion as well. Uh, and that's on both arms, up and down, bicep, and that head is on a ball joint. Um, it has a, it can't look up because of the way that the head is sculpted. But I have seen other people uh, that just shave this little bit back here down a little, and then he can look up just fine. Um, but he does a really good job of looking down and straight forward, so that's pretty good. He has a waist swivel, which is lovely, but it only swivels in one direction um, just because of transformation, uh, but you can get that going. Uh, his hips are ball joints. He has an upper thigh, uh, and he's got a double double hinged knee, although it is a bit... Um, actually, yeah, it's, it's double hinged knee, but it only goes up like that and then back. Um, so, yeah, yeah, and then uh, nothing really on the foot, but uh, um, another thing you can do is actually kind of just put this down, and what I've been doing is take the dinosaur arms and just kind of bring them up around the front. They just kind of hang out in the back there otherwise. Um, this way they, they kind of have a little place to go, and it 
it can look like more armor. You can put it up under here, uh, and that looks kind of neat. Uh, so, you know, the, the choice is yours. Um, just a quick size comparison, because I don't have the Voyager uh, yet for Grimlock, but I'll show you how he looks. Uh, with leader Grimlock, and it's it's not great at all. Um, Grimlock is is way too big compared to this guy, so I have a feeling he'll he'll uh, size really nicely with the Voyager Grimlock. Um, but yeah, overall, really really nice figure. Um, I'm quite impressed by this guy. I like him a lot more than Grimlock so far. Um, so very cool dinobot scorn guys uh if you see him pick him up he's a really fun toy to mess around with and uh he's a cool dinosaur and a cool robot so very nicely done so that's going to do it for this review guys i want to thank you so very much for watching as always be sure to like comment subscribe all that good stuff um we've got more age of extinction coming up real soon so stay tuned for that uh in the meantime thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next one bye for now